84% of Native women experience violence in their lifetime, with more than half of that being sexual violence and half of that being domestic violence. Domestic violence and sexual assault in tribal communities is, is so prevalent, there's still a, a huge problem that needs to be addressed. This isn't part of our tradition and our culture and we need to take back you know, our, our communities to having healthy relationships. It's a constant challenge to not just educate, but to role model and show what it means to be in a healthy relationship. Because if you haven't been in one, then the cycle can continue. You know, we have our mothers, we have our sisters that are being mistreated and being disrespected. And we need to increase, we need to improve our understanding of building those relationships back up. We often don't realize the effects of violence on women in our communities. And I feel that we need to use our voices. Our voices are our strongest means of advocacy within this movement. So it is with amazing uh, organizations such as the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women and our neighboring communities that it takes our work and our actions and our voices to make that impact. It's a very important coalition because it brings together all the nonprofit organizations and shelters and programs that are trying to assist in the area of domestic violence. As a lead advocate, what I do is listen to the individual help provide resources that are available for them and I allow them to navigate me to what they want, whether it be better education, parenting skills, or just to be heard. This coalition, along with all the tribal coalitions, are a very key and important component in doing this work and bringing the awareness not only to the tribal communities on the grassroots level, but also on the state level, on the national level, and also on the international level. The mission to stop violence against Native women and children is not just tied directly to the work that we're doing, but this is what we live every single day. We're working for healthier families, healthier communities. We're working so that our future generations don't have to live in these cycles of violence. I hope that people see the work that we're doing is well-intentioned and comes from a good heart. The people who work at the coalition are very passionate about what they do. They're working towards just ending the violence with indigenous women. It was a calling for me in that I, I get involved and I make sure that our Native women and our children and even men now know that they have a place and they have people who are going to listen and support and help in any way that they can. Now, especially here in New Mexico, most of the tribes here are run by the men in the community and so we need to have them supporting us but also to be teaching our young men what is a healthy relationship. You know, what are the, the ways that we need to to be living in balance with our women, and it's not a woman's issue, it's a tribal issue. The need for involvement of more men brought me to the coalition and piqued my interest in, in uh, um, helping out with the board. The Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women is a wonderful opportunity to learn about advocacy, how to become involved, whether they want to volunteer, whether they want to intern, or whether they want to be on staff or as a board member like myself. Just learning a lot of the issues going around sexual violence and how it affects myself as well as my community members made me want to, you know, better my life and stop the cycle and also bring a better world for my kids. Many of us who are actually in this work know that nine times out of ten those women that are experiencing violence are our own relatives. They're our mothers, our daughters, our siblings, our grandmothers, our aunties. This work is important because this work fundamentally is about the communities and our families that, that we come from. We bring out our strengths together and lead from where we're at into bring, making our communities better and aware of these issues that nobody wants to talk about.
whenever we host October Domestic Violence Awareness Month activities and also child abuse awareness activities. They are always at the table with us meeting. They take the time out of their busy schedules to come out and meet, bring ideas, and are always there to support us at our events, out in the field with us, standing side by side, showing that they too care about our community and that they are working to end violence in our own tribal community. There's really a lot of very committed, very strong people, both men and women, who want to advance uh, the work of the coalition. They're just a great group of people. You know, we have youth up to to elders, and you know, it's a it's a force to be reckoned with. And I think it's something that's going to play a huge role in where we're going to be at in five, ten, twenty years. The people behind the scenes are very passionate. They are very educated and smart. They also want domestic violence and sexual assault to decrease. We want to make sure that this does not continue as it has been. We have so many resources that are available to us and we have the opportunity to really use technology and use outreach and use connection with our other relatives in other communities and other tribal coalitions to band together as a unified voice and really stand up and address that we are the movement. And it is a very strong movement in order to help end violence against women that is only growing stronger and proactively providing and creating safe spaces to share of ideas and collaborations of how we can end the violence. I hope that people will look back at the work that the coalition has done during this time and say that maybe we planted a seed or a light bulb went off and to be able to say that what they learned from us or the awareness that we built was enough to help their families break cycles and learn how to be in relationships and hold space with each other and really break the cycle of violence.